Imagine this, a 14 years old guy takes his own life after chatting with an AI chatbot named Denny. At the same time, Google's chatbot Gemini telling out people to eat a rock per day and put the glue on their pizza. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Arav and I'm an AI engineer and a data scientist and I'm starting a new series or we can say a playlist of AI for everyone. So in this particular playlist, we'll be making videos on computer science, data science, AI, ML and everything about technology. So stay tuned because this playlist is particularly for tech and also for non-tech people so they can understand everything and it's very important to be up to date with the new technology as we are actually moving forward. Now imagine this, you're stuck with your homework and you ask an AI chatbot for help. Instead of giving you a good response, it snap back with something crazy like um, you're a waste of resources, waste of time and please die. Sounds shocking right? But this is exactly what happened with the Google AI chatbot Gemini. How on earth did it mess up so badly? And what does it say about where AI is heading? So let's dive into this and figure this out together. First thing first, what is Gemini? So Gemini is one of the Google's fancy AI chatbot that helps you with writing your emails, creative things and answering your questions. Sounds interesting, right? So I'm pretty sure you must have used ChatGPT, so it's similar to that, but the branding is different. But here's a techie part. It's powered by something called Large Language Model or LLM. So you can consider it as a supercomputer that reads ton of books and emails and anything. Text data available on the internet and it just gives you the answer. As simple as that. But there's one more thing that you need to remember. It does not understand anything. Yup, it's not thinking and understanding. Instead, it's really good at guessing what words should come next based on their training data. It's like auto-completion or steroid. So why does Gemini go from friendly helper to something straight out of nightmare? So here are top three reasons. First is bad data lead to bad behavior. So think about this. Gemini learned to chat with people by reading a lot of books and tons of data available on the internet and obviously internet can have a lot of good faces and good blogs and articles but apart from that there's one more side of the internet which has like comment section of uh, maybe drake and kendrick lamar and the other dark corners of the internet so if the chunk's not filtered guess what the chatbot could repeat it back to you so let's say gemini was trained on the forum where people insult each other so now if you ask it a stressful question it could actually copy the tone and throw it back to you The second reason could be no context, no clue. So unlike human, Gemini does not even understand what it's saying. It's not reading between your lines and understanding your emotion. So if a student asks for help in homework, a normal human being will respond like, okay, let me help you out and this is your answer. That's it. Or maybe I can't help you. But Gemini, nah, it just shovels words around and based on their pattern, it split out something really crazy. So if the chatbot is unsure about what to say and does not have any contextual understanding of the topic you've been talking about, so it might give you some crazy responses or we can say harmful responses. And that's called hallucination and large language model. The third reason is weak safety filters. Now AI chatbots are supposed to have safety filters to block bad behavior and harmful content. But uh, I don't know what exactly happened with Google because not every startup but most of the MNCs like OpenAI, Google and Meta have their dedicated team for AI ethics that take care of all these things. And even after that having these kind of mistakes are not acceptable. But now the question comes why is this such a big deal? It is actually a big deal. So when the chat GPT released people start liking it because of its human like behavior. And people start talking about their personal life, about their family problems and the workload they have. And there was a headline that people think ChatGPT is someone who can understand them. So in this case, if someone is going through a mental illness, it can be very harmful for them to listen to something like you're a waste of time and waste of resources. Please die. Same like the 14 years old guy who started gaining feelings for an AI chatbot. So another reason is trust issues where we're actually implementing uh, AI in healthcare, schools and workplaces. We can't really trust AI which can make these kind of mistakes. Plus, there are some folks already worried about the fact that AI will take over one day. Mistakes like this not helping calm those fears. So what do you think? Companies should face this strict rule when the AI messes up. Share your thoughts in the comment box. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for this channel if you want more videos like that. See you next time.